Marlon Brando's old now. <laughs> wow, Marlon Brando's deranged. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually. Yeah. <laughs>500 other things. It was with that and Bahubali. It's I think true. Were like the first. It was. It, it was true. Like they were like, oh, you gotta watch it. It's the most amazing thing in the world. Um, and so we did finally watch it. Well, Rick watched it a while ago. He's an idiot though. Um, and then now he rewatched it. So he's seen it now, twice. Well, this is the first part, obviously. Yeah. There's two parts. There's two parts. We haven't seen the second part. That would be stupid. To watch the second part first. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna. Re we only do it with trailers. <laughs> That would be funny. Uh, <laughs> but obviously... so mad. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a... Obviously, a spoiler review. Yeah. If so, you haven't seen Gangs of Wasper... Go away. Go away and watch it. Um, so, Gangs of Wasper. Uh, it's... I don't... Do, do, is there a synopsis? Here, go ahead. Yes. A clash between Sultan and Shahid Khan leads to the expulsion of Khan from Wasper. And ignites a deadly blood feud spanning three generations. Yes. Blood feud. Uh, and it's the... Uh, blood feud! Director is... Uh, blood feud captain. Anurag Kasha. Yes. Anurag Kashna, which I believe... Anurag Kasha. I hope. That's yeah. right. Um, someone said he was the same director of Sacred Games. Sacred Games! They could be wrong, but it wouldn't surprise me. It would show on his IMDb page. I know. Um, but Which stands for Internet Movie Database. But the, uh, the the shooting styles were very, very similar. It was, especially games. depending on which gun they used. Oh, yeah. The shooting stuff. Are you going to review this movie, or are you going to just keep being an idiot? Yes. <laughs> so you started, the film opened up with, with uh, lots of shooting. Lots and lots of shooting. Yeah. Uh, and it did have a very... Um, Godfather feel to it. Yes, throughout. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess it, it's a gang slash mafia thing. Yeah, but it doesn't. That doesn't necessarily mean it has to look. KFG is a gang mafia thing. It doesn't That's feel true. like a Godfather. No, it doesn't. <laughs> this one was. Who knows if it was inspired by the Godfather, but it had a very Godfather feel to it. Felt a lot like it. It felt like a mix. It, it leaned heavily into Scorsese territory. Yes. With Francis Ford Coppola's Godfather. Yes. In there. So. Um, and so the you followed. Well, you followed a lot of a lot people. of stories. A lot of people, which is probably the most confusing. Like first almost half, I kept struggling to keep up. I because actually, because I was like, uh, I was like, okay, we got this guy and kill him off, and I was like, okay, right, all right next guy, right. right, oh, kill them off, okay, okay. <laughs> Where's Nawaz and Siddiqui? He's right. not in this movie. <laughs> I thought he was I in this know. movie. <laughs> You're waiting, and I forgot he was in it. Yeah, and then when he popped up, I'm like, hey, it's yeah. Nawaz and Siddiqui. And then there was Big B in the movie theater. I'm like, oh, I'm so yeah. excited. <laughs> That was actually really cool. It was like, Young yeah. Big B. Yeah, that was yeah. that was cool. I enjoyed that. I did too. Um, but yeah, so the, that that was I think one of the uh, I, I enjoyed the film, especially towards the end when I started to more understand the film. Uh, uh, what was but it? Yeah, but I, it's it's like The Godfather. The Godfather is not easy to understand. No, first go. It's true because I think I've seen The Godfather so many times now. It's just it's second nature. He grew nature. up with it, obviously. Right, so. and I think for anybody approaching The Godfather, it would be the first at, jump into it. In fact, I should I should ask Harrell because I introduced him to The Godfather. He hadn't mm -hmm. seen it, and I, I yeah I think it would be you who's with what family. And yes. We're, uh, 
Okay, there's so, Michael and there's Vito and there's Sonny so, yeah, and there's that, Fredo and there's that. And so I didn't I didn't penalize a film for that because no one because it's it's a very complicated story. You got people getting killed off. You got in, in uh, different spans of generations. Right, and uh, you have to tell those generations to understand the motivations for people in the yes. current generation, and you have yes. to cover the politics. And the stuff going on prior, so there's and a lot so around you got that, and then we also had to read it through subtitles, right? So that's even harder to keep up because you can't just watch the screen and what's going on. You have right. to read it, right? So that's that. That's difficult. But towards the end, especially when Nawaz Adin Siddiqui finally came, he's just so captivating. Yeah, he really is. He's so good. His eyes. Mm -hmm. He has great eyes. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't have to do a lot, right, to convey. He, he's very. Yeah, and this one he felt Al Pacino to me very much. In fact, that that moment when uh, I forgot his name, but the guy who sells the guns to them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. comes back and he's just watching him with the gun, and he sees the, the initials on the handle again, mm -hmm. and he's just watching him with the gun. That whole moment, and when he goes, bam, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. very very weighty. The, uh, the way he interacted with women too was very uh -huh. uh, very Al Pacino. very Michael Corleone. Yes. Yep. Yes. And so I feel I felt like he's the Michael Corleone of this film. One hundred percent. And I'm guessing that's why they, just like Godfather two, he's the main star. It would be of Michael Corleone's story. Yeah. So, this was Vito's story. Yeah. And then that'll. I'm guessing. So I'm guessing I could be totally and completely and utterly wrong, but I think this was inspired by that Godfather film. That's not a, it's not a retelling of it, obviously. Of course it's a completely not. different story. Totally different story. But it had a ton of elements, so I wouldn't be surprised if like <laughs> this director was inspired by those films. Even the last sequence where uh, he's at the gas station oh. and he's waiting there and they pull up, that was ex very reminiscent yes. of when Sonny pulls up to the toll booth in The Godfather. And the toll booth guy drops his tool and he comes down and then the guys pop up and they just riddle him with bullets. Yeah. Reminded me completely of that. Although... Which is... Is he alive? That's the question. Sonny's clearly dead. They come out, they stand over Sonny and go... <laughs> so he's gone in The Godfather. What happened to... Yeah, we don't... I mean, I was kind of mad that he got out of the car. I was too. I was like, come on, you didn't survive that, man. Yeah. They were literally at the window going, pop, right. pop, pop, right. They can't miss that. Right, exactly. <laughs> and one went in his head. <laughs> right. So, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he is dead. I am too. And that was just like, that, and that, that was I, like a chicken with his head cut off kind of, kind of thing. Right. And I think the an adrenaline fuel, yeah. and I think when he, which was a very cool ending shot. When the hand goes down and drops oh, the gun, yeah, the gun and shot. It, yeah, that it was, runs over the gun. That was a great, very good idea. shot. I have a feeling, and don't we're gonna see number two, so please don't Obviously spoil this we're for see us. Two. I think he's dead. I think so too. I hope so. I and don't. I, I don't want him to be alive. But here's the thing: when we're just talking about the ending part, did you see that many people betraying him, his wife? I didn't. No, I didn't predict it. No, but I wasn't surprised when. Of course not. Yeah, that didn't surprise me. But when she said he's gone, I'm like, dang. Yeah, she was not kidding. Yeah, I did not see that uh, them portraying him coming. Right. I no, thought it was going to be the other guy. The the. Not not Nawazuddin, but the the other guy with the mustache. I mean, there's a lot of people. <laughs> I was gonna say the other guy with the mustache. <laughs> I think everybody had facial hair at some point. That's true. Including the women. That's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, uh, what, are the, what are the things you liked best and what are the things that you disliked if there was my, anything my, you disliked? My least favorite part of this film was the fact that it was hard to keep up with the time different, like um, time change. Okay. Like they didn't specify when it was months uh, in advance except for a few times. Or if it was years, years in advance, yeah. uh, or post whatever event, mm -hmm. um, and so it was like you just have to figure that out on your own, right? Like, Nawazuddin and Siddiqui grew up so fast, I, true, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. But quick. everybody else kind of looked almost exactly the same. It's true. His dad didn't age really much, and yeah. all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, yeah. So that that I think was the the, the biggest flaw in the film. Um, I don't. I, I didn't see a lot of other flaw outside of what I, we talked about in the beginning, where I can't. Um, it was hard to keep up, but I was. I'm not really blaming the film for that. The same thing would happen with Godfather. You kind of need to watch these films a couple, a times, couple times to get in order to get yeah 
the whole families because yeah. these families are difficult to keep up with. Yeah. And especially with how much they kill everybody. I know. <laughs> yeah, and who's going to die and who killed who and who's mad at who for killing who. Yeah. 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 Hard to track. And, but I did, the, the directing wise, I did enjoy his shots. His shots were very beautiful. So if it is the same director as Sacred Games, I wouldn't be surprised because it's very beautifully shot. It felt like it could have been directed by Scorsese. Yeah. And I believe uh, they said this director... Um, is friends with Scorsese, or at least they yeah they know each other. And apparently, Scorsese has seen this and, and applauded it. That was something like that. Yeah, yeah. it was. Uh, um, it was something like that. And it reminded me, but in good ways and bad ways. Like <laughs> God bless you. It reminded me of Scorsese in both good ways and bad ways. Mm -hmm. Because there's good Scorsese and there's bad Scorsese mm -hmm. as far as what I like and dislike. That's true. Uh, Good Scorsese is Gangs of New York. He's got a long list, but that's the first thing that comes to my mind is that. Bad Scorsese is Silence. I never saw it. Yeah, you did, and that you actually did with me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, I did. I did. That was the recent one. And here's why. He always gets the acting, and he always gets the cinematography, and he, that, at that level, he's always brilliant and gorgeous. But I think he can be self-indulgent with his pacing and length of film. Oh, saying that uh, people want to see this. <laughs> I'm so brilliant. Well, not <laughs> even that. Any of this out of the not film. even that. And it's a double-edged sword. Because it, film is a director's medium. So a director can do whatever the heck they want to do with their medium and tell whatever kind of a vision they want to tell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But there's a fine line between telling a story you want to tell that is purely subjective and appeasing to yourself as a visual artist. Mm -hmm versus ensuring you keep your audience connected with you and doing it for the, fa the sake of the fact of how is this going to read to them? How are they going to connect with that? This thing was first a one film project that was five and a half hours long. And the theaters in India said, no. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> so he split them into two films. I think you could have, and I haven't seen part two, obviously. I think you probably could have cut enough of this to make one film because there is there is so much of this that dragged for me mm -hmm. that I was it, it felt uh, not self congratulatory it was that I need to share this and I'm going to share this and you have every right to do that as a director so I applaud that but for me as an audience member I, I was I'm looking at the clock mm -hmm. I'm like can we please get on with the story so that was the first thing for me the other thing was I didn't care about anybody. There was nobody I was rooting for. Do you root anybody for in The Godfather? Though? Yes, absolutely. There's there's a few people I'm rooting for in The Godfather. I mean, rooting for is one thing, but they're also all terrible people. Not completely repugnant. Not completely, which I, is what I was makes... Rooting, I was rooting for Nawazuddin at the end. I like him a lot. Kind of. Mm -hmm. I was kind of rooting for Nawazuddin, but I, I wasn't... I did, if he'd been shot and killed, I would have gone... Eh. Hmm. There wasn't anybody there, whereas when Vito got sh well, if you haven't seen The Godfather, where have you been? Uh, go watch it, because we're going to share some Godfather spoilers. Uh, when Vito Corleone gets shot, mm -hmm. and even at the end when he has his heart attack, I, a little part of me is kind of touched by the fact and sad for the Corleone family and sad for Michael. Michael was such a good guy, and Vito really wanted to protect his son. When Vito gets the news that Michael was the one who did the hit, and he didn't know because he had been down after having been shot, he's very heartbroken that his son became part of the family. He always wanted to protect Michael and didn't want Michael to be in the family. That mattered to me. I could, nobody in this film, I, if anybody could have died and I would have been, eh. Mm, yeah, I feel, I mean, I understand. I don't think I was totally that full on. I was never, there was a po some points where I, I, I agree that it did drag, Yeah, but, I, I think this is a lot like the first four episodes of Sacred Games. It very well could be. Good good comparison. And then the second half is going to be... Good it, comparison. Obviously, it really picked up there at the end when we got to what the real meat is. You, the whole thing of the story was watching this kid grow up mm -hmm. and all the rest of this is preamble and this guy is going to be the... Right, Al Pacino right. character. And right. a lot of people think Godfather 2 is the best film. Yeah, and, yeah, and <laughs> it, it is. It's really crazy because Godfather 2 is one of the most extraordinary sequels ever in that it, it, it's just a continuation of part one. So 
I may be eating my words in that respect. When I see two, I'll go, oh, okay, now I get it, these, and I actually these care. These films are all, <laughs> especially, like, I felt like this director loves old school gangster Hollywood. Oh, completely. Well, maybe, maybe Bollywood I, Hollywood. I, 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 had to, I had to remind myself I wasn't watching Scorsese. Yeah. It was that it, good. It was very Scorsese. Yeah. But, yeah, the, um, they, 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 old school films, especially, they, and this one didn't have the gore that Godfather had. <laughs> no, or a lot of other yeah, mafia obviously, films. Obviously, you just saw a couple hands everywhere. Yeah. But like, obviously, you didn't see horses get <laughs> chopped up. No, and I know they've got the censorship board, but let's talk about the language a little bit, because the language I wasn't, know. wasn't what, uh, it isn't what would really be said. I, I did, did they curse at all? No, that's my okay, point. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, I didn't know if it was like, like, because I read some comments that said, like, it's like language you wouldn't understand, uh, like curse words and all that kind of stuff. And so I was wondering if it was the subs that couldn't translate what I was Could saying. Could be, because that's why there were none. comparing it to Sacred Games, Sacred Games, we get it completely. I mean, it is... Well, yeah, that's, that's Netflix, rated R. Netflix, though. I, I, I know. Yeah. Um, and that's the difference of the films and the cinema, which we understand that. We know there's stuff that can be done so if they're, Netflix if, versus... If General there's releases. not cussing, I, I kind of just thought it was the subtitles. That that would be an issue. Yeah, and, it, and it didn't. It did. I didn't dislike that. Uh, I just thought it was kind of funny in a couple spots. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at the end, I was excited to watch the second one, uh, and so uh, oh, there's a bird out there. Oh, hmm. It's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my family. <laughs> But we're gonna do a movie review, squirrel. <laughs> but yes, I, 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 especially towards the end, because I want to know, make sure he's dead, and I. Yeah, I want to know if he's dead. The character I was most invested in was Nawaz and Siddiqui. Maybe it's just because I knew who he was. Maybe it's to be different. Like we all knew who all those characters were in The Godfather before we watched The Godfather. Right. Well, maybe not you. You saw it. When I, I saw it when I was seven. But did you know those people before? Did you know? No, my Italian oh, grandpa put seven. me on his lap and said. Watching The Godfather. Well, you're also Italian too, so it's true. that's kind of a yeah. You probably have family members. It, it's probably I probably do. <laughs> At least my, my grandpa hoped we did. Yeah, it was like he wanted us to be in the mafia. As yeah, grandpa. So yeah, it, it it definitely had some some pacing flaws. I would agree, um, but we'll, I, I I will give it the benefit of the doubt to see the second one. Yeah, uh, because you know I'm I'm all about acting. But, uh, and I think we're actually going to get to the meat and potatoes, kind of like Sacred Games. And I will say that too. What, what, for, like, for example, with Scorsese, Scorsese always gets a pass for me. Like when we saw Silence, it was, it was arduously long, but I thought, it's Scorsese. You go ahead, man. Uh, I mean, I wish you would engage me more, but okay. And I feel this way with this director. I, w I prefer personally, but he gets that ensemble acting. Mm hmm. He had a lot of great acting. Huh? Everybody. Yeah. I mean, it was on a weak link, I don't think. Everybody was even, great. Even the kids. Everybody was great. So, yeah, great. this director obviously brings that out of the uh, yeah. out of the kids. I mean, just utterly believable. I really feel like I was t a, a fly on the wall watching this thing going down. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I do want to find out. Yeah, so obviously story. we will watch the second one. Give us... Be patient. Yes. <laughs> we have a lot to watch. Um, be patient, but uh, we did enjoy it. Uh, please let us know what you thought down below. Let us know how stupid we are with the comment sections down below, like you usually do. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we do read your comments and laugh and laugh and laugh.